What was supposed to be a dream house for an Idaho family turned into a real-life house of horrors. The family was forced to abandon the home after they discovered it was infested with snakes. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of them. Neil Karlinski is live from the snake pit in Rexburg, Idaho. Good morning, Neil. Robin, good morning. This would make anyone's real estate nightmare top 10 list. They do, in fact, call this place the Snake House, and with good reason. The last family to live here lasted only three months. They say the place is filled with snakes. They're even crawling inside the walls. Why did it have to be snakes? They were Indiana Jones' only weakness, and snakes on a plane, well, Samuel L. Jackson said it best. With these snakes on this plane. Now imagine lying in your own bed and worrying about snakes crawling under the covers and what you get isn't a horror movie, but Ben and Amber Sessions' life. It was a nightmare. When they bought this five-bedroom house in rural Idaho, it seemed like an incredible deal until they started finding snakes slithering everywhere, in the walls, on the floor, in their garbage. You could hear, if you can imagine, scales against the back of sheetrock. It was pretty eerie. Wildlife biologists say the real intruder is the house, built square on top of a snake den where the serpents sleep, breed, and multiply by the hundreds with no way out but up through the house. The previous owners had the same problem and sued, but the sessions say they had no idea, even though they signed these documents disclosing a possible snake problem. We were told that the previous owners were just trying to make up a story so they don't have to pay their mortgage. The Animal Planet show Infested has recorded homeowners suffering similar nightmares with raccoons, spiders, and bed bugs. In this case, the Sessions and their three kids were forced out of their dream home and into bankruptcy. This is a buyer beware nation, and you have to do your research. Because if you don't do the research, you end up with a house full of snakes. The Sessions say their big concern is that someone else will wind up inside this house. It was put back on the market at a reduced price after they moved out, but word got around. It's now been taken back by the bank. Bank officials won't say what they plan to do with it. And as for the Sessions, they say they do not plan to sue because they can't afford it. Oh, Robin? Bless their hearts. And if people didn't know about the house before, they know about it now that it's on Good Morning America. But we, sure do. we really hope that family, everything works out for them. Hey, Neil, thank you.